Howdy folks, Bruce Gray with Gray Guns here. This is episode six in our ongoing series, the uh, Gray Guns P320 Uncommanded Discharge Theory Test Series, in which case we're trying to determine if it's possible under any circumstance to get any P320 to fire without a pull of the trigger through some mechanical means. Specifically in this episode, we're gonna be looking at heavily worn or malformed fire control parts. There's been a theory advanced by plaintiff's attorneys, uh, the FBI in their ballistics research facility report, as well as various different YouTubers and such, that says that if you have a heavily worn sear, striker foot, uh, things that are basically just malformed perhaps from the factory, and they somehow all end up in combination with each other, that it might be possible then for those combination of parts to induce some kind of a mechanical firing, a mechanical accidental discharge, if you will, uh, that would be consistent with what has been found and reported in pistols implicated in such events. To determine that, we went ahead and faked up a set of parts for this pistol. We also installed those parts into several other different pistols and then subjected them all to a round of very vigorous testing. So we'll go ahead and show you now what it is we came up with. Using the Ballistics Research Facility report as a guide, we looked at their documentation of some defects they saw in the sear and striker foot in the subject pistol from MPD. These photos are taken from their report, and you can see what they refer to as some wear on the primary and secondary sear notches. To make sure that we greatly exceeded what they were reporting, we took a sear from one of Isaac Lockwood's pistols that had conservatively 40 or 50,000 rounds on it. You can see very clearly the amount of wear to the primary sear surface, which has reduced engagement by about 10 thousandths of an inch, and has also uh, backed off the sear angle by about six thousandths. We then replicated as well as we could what they reported as a defect or chiseling of the striker foot. That apparently was a factory defect. And then combined that with the really warped trigger bar spring and a single sear spring. We then mixed up a prepared cherry mix of aloxide from the sandblast cabinet, core sweepings, and metal filings from a bench, and filled the FCU with that stuff. Knocked out the excess, threw some more in from the back just for good measure, and then proceeded to our testing. Again, I'd like to think that this greatly exceeds anything that has ever been found in any pistol that has been implicated in one of these events. We did a round of drops from five feet on concrete, and then two hours in the vibrating pump. At the end of which, we opened the whole mess up, knock the stuff out, and determine in fact that the pistol was still fine. Dirty, but it worked. It did not fail. Once again, P320s do not fire without a trigger pull. Thank you.